Hi everyone, today we are going to have a look at the cloverleaf knot and I've tied it here in an adjustable bracelet. This is one of many knots known as a good luck knot so if you're into that kind of thing tie it as your lucky bracelet. Okay, I'm going to start by taking my paracord and feeding out around about 30 centimeters or 12 inches and I'm going to form a bite here and I'm going to take this section and form another bite just so we have the shape of an M and then I'm going to take this left hand bite and feed it down through that right hand bite so we should end up looking like that. Next I'm just going to take this strand here on the left and take it over to the right hand side. And then I'm going to form a bite here and feed it down through that right loop. So that's what we should look like now. Next I just want to take this right hand strand down to the bottom. I'm going to feed it down through that right loop. Over this strand that runs down the bottom. And then down through that left loop. Then I'm going to take it up through that right loop again. So the last part of the knot now is just to feed this right hand strand right up through the center of the knot. So I'm going to take it around and then feed it up through the center and just pull that all the way through and next we just need to take the slack all the way through the knot so I like to start at one end and just work all the way around until I get to the other and I'm just going to pull the slack out little bit by little bit If you try and pull too much out at once, it'll distort the knot and you might lose its shape. So I'm just going to take slack all the way through. So now taking a little bit of slack through, I can take it through from this side back out to the other side just to make this tag end a little bit longer. So I fed slack the opposite way through the knot this time just to make this top strand a little bit longer and get these two strands around about equal length. I'm going to do one final tighten just to make this knot nice and compact and then I'll show you how to make the adjustable closure. Okay, to form this into a bracelet first we just want to form a loop here that's around about the size of your wrist and then we'll just flip it over here and I'm going to take this strand and tie an overhand knot around the other one so I'll take it over and then through the center of the bracelet just to form a loop 
and then I'm going to take my end and tuck it down through that loop and I can tighten that up tighten it up quite hard and then do the same over the other side just flip it around form a loop and then tuck the end through the loop and then you can test this out on your wrist and if it works you can snip and singe the ends and if it's too small or too large you might just have to adjust the length of these knots here so once you're happy with the size of your bracelet we just need to tighten these knots right up and then we can snip and singe the ends and I like to just leave a little bit of a tag and that way you can take the bracelet on and off a little bit easier so I'm going to leave about an inch or so just cut it off and then use a lighter to singe the end just so it doesn't fray and then repeat over the other side and the bracelet is going to be done and so here it is the finished cloverleaf adjustable bracelet if it's your first time here and you like this kind of thing hit the subscribe button we talk about functional and decorative knots here all the time thanks for sharing thanks for watching i like you all and i'll see you on the next video